Hey guys, happy Monday. It's your girl Kita. Welcome to my channel. This is Beauty by Kita. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to all my videos. Um, today is going to be a skincare favorites video. But before I get into that, I just want to say um, thank you to everyone that is liking, commenting on my videos, everyone that is subscribed. I thank you guys so much. Um, this week, we're just going to be doing um, a My Series week. I mean, my favorite series. So, all of my favorite products, I'm going to break down um, day by day into my favorites. Like, my favorite powders, my favorite bronzers, my favorite skincare items. Which is today, what we're going to be going over today. It's my uh, favorite skincare item. So, if you're interested in watching this video, please keep watching. Thank you. Okay, guys. So, I have a container of my favorite skin products and we're going to start with moisturizers let's talk about the top moisturizer these are products that i use all the time on a regular basis um yeah on a regular basis every day these are like my ride or dies basically the number one i want to it's not the number one uh, moisturizer but i want to talk about this because i don't want to have any more and i don't want to forget about it my neutrogena hydro boost moisturizer that is a get moisturizer too. I use a wash. Usually I use the wash and the moisturizer together, but I ran out lately. So lately I've been using a bunch of different products, but that is one of them that I use all the time. The next moisturizer I love and that I cannot stop raving about is the Glam Glow Moisturizer. It's called the Moisture Trip. It's amazing. It's 50 bucks, ladies. Ooh. 50 bucks. I got this in a BoxyCharm. But it is amazing. I'm so grateful and I'm so glad that BoxyCharm gave me this because I would have never probably thought to try the product and I would have been like, oh my God, you know, it's too expensive or not that much for it, but it is amazing. Like, I'm not just saying that. The texture is creamy. As you guys can see, let me, yes, mine's is just about going. Like, I was using this. I use it all the time. And I just got this in like, I want to say my September box. No, I might have had this um, in my August. I think I got it from August until now. It's almost gone. So you get bang for your buck. It's You get a nice amount. You don't need a whole bunch. It's amazing. It is a good moisturizer. One of the top ones on my list. Next, I'm going to move into, I've been using this since I started doing makeup. And even before doing makeup, because I used to see my mom when I was a kid use the Olay Complete Moisturizer. Um, sorry, mine's is super dirty, guys. It's almost gone. I barely use this anymore because it's like all the way at the bottom. But this is one of the another moisturizer that I use all the time. I'm trying to get it is super lit, like light too, like guys. Um, I use this moisturizer. Hello, I use this moisturizer all the time. Well, I used to. This was a, um, I don't use it that much anymore. So the main things I use now is the Glam Glow and the Neutrogena um, Hydro Boost. But I don't have any more of that. So lately I've been using the Glam Glow. Um, like I said about the Olay Complete, I got, you know, I started with this when I first started doing makeup. And even, like I said, even before uh, makeup, I was using this because I it was one of my mom's go-to moisturizers. I would see her moisturizing with it so when I got older I just would uh buy my own basically so that's where this came along and before I did makeup I just would moisturize and keep it moving but now I use it as a moisturizer before of course applying makeup and all that good stuff so it is one of the top ones in my moisturizing um kit I can't even front the next one I've been using lately and I love is the uh, CeraVe moisturizer this is another one i use it's a moisturizing cream slash lotion it's um it has hydrogen i don't know how to say it guys y'all know i'm always butchering words and sounding a mess but hyaluronic acid in it um it's a rich texture it is amazing like I, this is another good moisturizer it gets the jobs done it keeps your face hydrated i like it um what else so it's one more, I think it's one more moisturizer. Of course, this is another ride or die. This is my winter time. I use this 
literally. I said Olay Complete is what I see my mom did. I did see my mom using that a lot. But my mom, really, I think every, well, I'm not going to say all black people. But, because that would be biased. Or, I'm not biased, but, like, I'm not going to say that. But, I swear, everybody has had to have this Pond's Cold Cream. Everybody's mama had this. Or, even now to this day. Everybody, this is an amazing moisturizer, guys. Uh, it just, it's rich. It's creamy. It is amazing. I... Every winter, literally, this is what I moisturize with. Um, yeah, basically, it's good because, you know, my skin, well, not you guys probably don't know, but, of course, most of our skin in the um, wintertime tends to get drier than any other time of the year. So, this is why I use this mainly just in the wintertime, though. Not going to lie, because um, in the summertime, it would make me sweat because it's super... Hydrating. I don't know. It just, I wouldn't use it in the summertime. I use it all winter though. And it is a good moisturizer. So, moving along from moisturizers, I want to uh, talk about the toner I've been using. Um, I used to have the Pixie toner. It's in like a green bottle. I used to use that. That is a good one. I just don't have any right now. That is a good toner. And actually, I've been using this. I got, it's um, an antioxidant. Spray toner. It's a spray tonic. I mean, spray tonic, I guess. Y'all know I'm always butchering words. Like I said, it's an antioxidant. It's from Dr. Bandit Brand T. Dr. Brand T. I've been using this ever since I got it from BoxyCharm. And I've had it for a couple of weeks now. And I've been, every time I do my skincare, you know, I moisturize, I wash my face. You, uh, well... Yeah, I wash my face, and then I use a toner, and then I moisturize. It's amazing. Um, it's a good toner, too. I, I can't even front. And I like the fact that I can spray it out. It's just easier to spray sh sh spray on your face. It's easier to do that that way. That's I think that's genius. I think they should come out with some more. Oops. Sorry, guys. I think they should come out with some more um, spray toners like this. That's good. That's, that, I like that. Moving along, well, one more thing. This is another moisturizer. Um, it's the 111 Skin St. Harley. You, you guys can see. It's almost gone. I use this every time when I'm moisturizing my face. I just put a drop. It says two drops, but I just put one drop. One drop is enough. For me. One drop is good for me. Um, I put a drop in my makeup, um, I mean, in my moisturizer. Um, you know, I... Sorry, guys. <laughs> I put a drop of this in my moisturizer. Moisturize every day. And it gives me a nice, smooth, supple face base to work on before I put my makeup on. So that's another one that I like. I don't know what's going on today, guys. I cannot get my words together. It's just a <clears throat> the stutter, stutter day. Next, I'm going to talk about some of the under eye creams I use to keep my under eye brightened and um, just um, from getting anti-aging. I try to use a bunch of anti-aging moisturizing products for under my eyes. So one of the ones I like to use, I've featured on this channel before, is the Cheer Up. It's a little, um, it's, called, it's from Pharmacy, it's called Cheer Up. It's a brightening vitamin C eye cream. Um, it's basically with cherry in it. It's a good moisturizer. I mean, I'm sorry, not a moisturizer. It's a good um, under eye cream. I use that frequently. Another one that I used to use all the time. Now, I don't use it as much, but it was the Clinique's All About the Eyes. It reduces circles, puffs, and all that good stuff from under your eyes. I was using this um, when I first doing, started um, doing my makeup for a while. It definitely works. It's a good product. Um, I know it's a little on the expensive side. I don't remember how much um, I paid for it because um, this was a while ago. And it came with like a tribal size bunch of products in it. Um, and I, where did I get it from? I think either Sephora or Ulta. Maybe 
I don't remember which one, but I know uh, Clinique products are expensive, period. I don't remember how much I paid for it. I'm not going to sit on here and try to figure out or try to lie to you guys about how much I paid. But it was, um, like I said, in a travel size thing, and it did cost. It's pretty expensive. But that is a good under eye cream. I just don't use it as much as I used to. The next thing I want to talk about is the Juice Beauty Juice Beauty Original Salute. I mean Organic Solution. It's a stem cellular anti wrinkled eye treatment. It is amazing. Like this is another product that is fifty bucks. I got it out of a boxy charm because y'all know Ooh, that's some coins right there. Fifty bucks. <laughs> um, but it is amazing. This is another good product that works. And like I said, um, I'm so grateful for BoxyCharm because they give us certain products that, you know, that we, we could, like I said, some people can, um, spend $50 on, um, certain products. That doesn't mean we want to really spend a bunch of money on products, especially if you have a family, you have kids, you can't spend that much money on makeup, a bunch of money on makeup. So, or whatever, you just can't spend a bunch of money on products, on things that are unnecessary. I know I don't want to, and uh, I don't know about everybody else, but I try to save my coins as much as possible. But I will say, this is amazing. It, it's a good product, and when I got it, like I said, the number one thing I use under my eyes, I'm going to get into now. But these two, I was using basically all summer, for the whole summer. Got them both from Boxy Charm. Well, this I got a little bit before the summer. I was using it basically all in the beginning of the winter because that's around when the time I got it. Pharmacy I was using in the summer. And the product that I'm using under my under eye now is the Marad. I've had this for a while, guys. I just, for some reason, was sleeping on it. Like, you know how you get things and you just put them away? I was doing that, like... I do that with a lot of products, and I was doing that before I did my boxy. Before I started this YouTube channel, I just was, like, putting products to the side. Not really testing them out because, you know, it just, I just stuck to my main products, like I was saying. I just stuck to what I knew. But now that I'm doing YouTube, it's, um, I'm using different products because I want to share different products with you guys. And I want you guys to know what to buy and what not to waste your coins on. This is worth it. I don't even remember how much this is either. Um, I'm trying to look it up real quick. But it says the Hydro Dynamic Ultimate Moisturizer for Eyes. It's intense. I mean, um, like I said, it's a good moisturizer cream. I'm just going to look up the price real quick to see how much it costs. Mered Hydration. Hydro Dynamic Ultimate Moisturizer for Eyes. This phone isn't going to look it up. Hello? I guess the phone is acting up, guys. I tried to look it up. I'm using my main phone, so I can't use that to... I'm using that to record, so I can't use that. This sucks. I don't remember. I can try to look it up for you guys and leave it in the description box if you guys want me to. But um, this, I'm pretty sure this costs a little, um, pretty much a skincare. A skincare call usually costs a pretty penny. So, but it is a good under the eye cream. That's what I've been using basically. Or oh, for the last couple of weeks, I've been using that. So constantly, this CeraVe, and these same thing, these, oh no, I, I, I'm sorry guys, I just can't get it together. These items and this toner have been my main products that I use, like, for the last couple of weeks all together, every day, part of my morning skin routine. So, those are the things I've been using. Let's get into the end of this, so, because I don't want to hold you guys up too much longer. The next thing I'm going to get into, these are some good drops I was using too. I guess it's, the word is Elemis. Um, it's a pro collagen rose facial oil. This is a good one too. I uh, It says massage three or four drops over the face and neck. 
I used to do, um, see, I always do less than what it says. I used to do two, one on each side, and then just, um, you know, uh, moisturize it. I mean, uh, what am I trying to say, guys? I'd uh, moisturize it and massage it into my face. Not moisturize it, massage it into my face, guys. I'm sorry. But that was something I used all the time, too. I recently just stopped using it because I started using this one. They're both two good products, though. I like them. As you can say, I'm not just saying this. I'm really using these products. Um, so now the end of the video is just a couple of primers, my top primers that I'm using currently right now. I have to go out and get some more primers. But <clears throat> right now, these are the prim primers I have in my possession, my top ones that I use currently right now all the time. So the first one I'm going to talk about is, of course, the Pore Professional um, Primer. This is amazing primer. Oh, the camera's this way. Sorry, guys. But this is an amazing primer. I love it. Um, it blurs out your pores and all that. It's one of my top uh, primers that I use. Another one that I like to use mainly for hydration is the Pretty Fresh, the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hydrating Holler. What is this? Hyaluronic Acid Primer. Don't kill me, guys. Don't come for me in the comments. But yes, this is another good primer that I like to use on a um, daily basis. Well, yeah, on a daily basis. I use all of these products. Um, as you can see, it's uh, about halfway gone. I stopped using it for a little bit because I had picked up the Master Prime. I know I've read this on my channel before, but this is another one I love to use. Master Prime, all of these basically, the Master Prime, the Maybelline Master Prime primers are every shade. I like all of them. I have the blue one somewhere, or I might have used the rest of it and threw it away. This one just smells amazing. It smells just like a good lotion. <clears throat> and it holds your makeup and keeps your face, you know, you let your makeup, it, uh, it helps your makeup last all day, guys. I'm sorry. What a day. I guess I'm getting tired because it is late at night, but you know how I do. It's really, when you guys get this, it'll be early Monday morning, but it's really late at night. So I'm getting a little tired. But the last thing I want to talk about, the last primer that I've been using for a while since I started makeup too, is the Milani Prime Shield. It's a face primer. Um, it mattifies the skin. I've really been using this since five years ago. Like, I found it. I fell in love with it. It keeps, especially your T zone. If you don't, if your T, if you're known for your T zone getting oily all the time, it will definitely keep your T zone from um, oily being oily. It'll mattify it. It'll last all day. Your makeup that is, it's amazing. I love this primer. So, guys, that is it. I'm done running my mouth because I know you guys are probably like, girl, but I'm done running my mouth. I'm so glad you guys stuck in to the end. If you have stuck to the end, you are amazing. I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything. Thank you for subscribing, liking my videos. And, guys, please don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, too, guys. Two underscores beauty by Kita. Again, it's two underscores beauty by Kita. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. I'm going to head out. See you tomorrow.